Good morning, Lego fans. Welcome to another episode of Mock Roundup. Uh, one thing that you all may not know about me is the fact that I love to metal detect. I love to go out into the middle of a field, with permission of course, and uh, see what I can find with uh, my metal detector. Uh, most of the time it's bottle caps, small things, modern coins or whatnot, uh, but I, I'm always in the hopes of finding something cool. That's part of the thrill of the hunt, I guess, and uh, I just wanted to capture that type of feeling in a Lego mock, and so that's where this next mock comes in. It's called Treasure, and it's been sitting on my shelf for quite a while. I've been trying to wedge it into, uh, into reviewing and showing off every so often, but, uh, you know, reviews uh, take precedence, you know? But now I'm finally uh, done with my backlog, and so it's time to share with, with uh, you some of my passions. So here we go. Here's uh, my next mock. Okay, so here we go. Here's my mock. It's a simple little diorama of a man finding a coin in a field. Uh, let's just zoom right in on him. Uh, you can see just the excitement on his face at, at the fact that uh, through all of his effort, he managed to find a, a single coin, and uh, yeah, that's that's really fun. You know, you, you never know who might have sat underneath this tree and lost this coin, and part of that is uh, part of that is the fun of metal detecting. But you know what? Um, that's only half of the story, as all of you metal detectors out there may know. Uh, for what lies beneath is really far more interesting. And really, this mock is no different, for if he were to dig a little bit deeper, he would be able to find this massive conquistador hoard of gold and treasures beyond his wildest dreams. Uh, but who knows, uh, maybe he'll find it later when he makes his second pass across the field. Uh, anyway, uh, I really liked setting this, this whole scene. Took up all my, uh, all my gold pieces and my uh, uh, gold doubloons, we'll check out in a minute. Uh, but my favorite part about this whole scene is the fact that using a light brick, uh, I can uh, light up that uh, that candle in the background, kind of give a little flickering uh, effect uh, next to the staff of Ra. And of course, there's a spiderweb all the way back there, and a little hallway uh, that uh, I barely was able to decorate a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's all dark back in there. It's still cool. It's still fun. Um, I really enjoyed making the whole thing. Uh, but that's not all. There's uh, this treasure box holds even more treasure. So, besides just being a nice little display piece of two of my hobbies combined, uh, this thing also serves as a little functional piece as well. For over here in the corner, and why yes, that is a coin slot. For this is a bank. Let's test it out here. Uh, it holds, uh, it fits quarter size and half dollar size. And uh, I imagine it would fit most other coin sizes as well. Uh, but that's a really fun thing that I was able to slide in here uh, on the sly, of course. Uh, nobody ever looks on the side here for a little groove, and if anything, they think, oh, you just ran out of pieces. No big deal. Uh, but let me just take a look here at the, lifting up the top here. See, it all comes off in this nice little, uh, this nice little, uh, compact display. If I wanted to, I'd just display it like that, um, without the whole, you know, treasure hunting aspect. But here, in the back here, we can see the reservoir for the coins. Uh, the little light button here is, uh, right there. And uh, if, in case you want to get your coins out, I had this little breakaway wall here, so you can easily kind of finger out your coins here. Um, let's see if the lights can actually get in there. Yeah, there's a little bit of a, a, sl a couple of sloped uh, bricks in there, kind of making a little reservoir, uh, and there's a little bit uh, to prevent it from getting caught up underneath this whole thing. And uh, in case you want to replace the batteries of the light brick, I also made another breakaway wall, because, you know, I had too many pieces. <laughs> But uh, better look at the uh, little little uh, coin gold hoard here. As you can see it's really packed full of stuff. That's really good lighting right there. Uh, a lot of modern currency there. There's a couple of hundred dollar bills, but never you mind. That's all good. Um, here we go. There's a couple of gems and uh, jewels in there. There's a couple of uh, those old classic uh, Leto um, pirate gold that I like to call them because they're the old chrome things that came with like every set. Uh, there's the Staff of Raw, and then all the way back here we'd see a spider web. Uh, I think that's a bag, and like, is that a basket back in there? I guess. Uh, my intention was to put more stuff back in there, but after I closed it all up, and finding that you couldn't really see anything, that deterred me heavily. Anyway, uh, that's just my little mock. Um, it was my intention to post this onto LEGO Ideas, because um, I feel that a lot of their ideas have become uh, more monetized and you know, more um, niche in a way. So I, I thought, you know, it would be cool to have something that 
Um, just anyone would enjoy building, and who d wouldn't enjoy building a little Lego bank? That would be really cool, right? I, I don't know, maybe something in the shape of a pig or something like that. But for me, I really like this idea because it's almost like, you know, your own little treasure hoard along with this conquistador gold, you know? Uh, but that's that's just me. So um, anyway, that's just my little mock. Thought I'd share it off with y'all. Uh, and um, yeah, stay tuned for more mock stuff, more reviews, more lettery things, and more knockoffs uh, if I can find any more. Uh, until then, bye.